So we're ready to move on to part B, but before we do, let's note what we did in part A. We calculated the solubility of barium chromate in water. When we go to part B, we're going to do it in um, the sodium chromate, so it has a common ion. Conceptually, what we learned is that when you add a common ion, it should decrease the molar solubility. So let's see if it gets smaller than this value right here. This is in molarity, by the way. So how do we work a common ion problem? Well, we write the same reaction we did before. Barium chromate is a solid. It is dissolving a little bit to form these ions. Now notice the sodium chromate is not written anywhere in here. It has an ion in common. We want to know the solubility of this guy, so we only write its reaction. Again, let's write the expression, the law of mass action here. We have the barium ion and we have the chromite ion. When we do our ICE table and we dump some of the barium chromate into the solution, there isn't any barium, but there is some chromate already present. When the sodium chromate was dissolved in there, it broke apart into these ions, and it is a soluble uh, salt. So it 100% breaks apart. So the concentration of the sodium chromate, since there's a one in front of here, is the concentration of the chromate. Now if we needed, oh, that's a three, sorry. If we needed the sodium, we know it'd be twice as big as that, and that would be 5.2 times 10 to the minus three. But we don't need the sodium, it's not anywhere present here. We needed the chromate, so we put a 2.6 times 10 to the minus 3 there. Now once again, some of this will dissolve, forming barium ions and chromate ions. Since very little dissolves, we still would have some left as a solid. We would have an S here, and we have 2.6 times 10 to the minus 3 plus S. Now we're ready to add it to our expression. KSP was 2.1 times 10 to the minus 10. That is going to be equal to the barium concentration, which is S, and the chromate concentration, which is 2.6 times 10 to the minus 3 plus S. Now here we're going to make an assumption, or at least we're going to try. We're going to assume that S is much, much smaller than 2.6 times 10 to the minus 3. That's a little questionable. This is a pretty small number. Is S really going to be much smaller than that? Well, at least let's start so that we can avoid the quadratic. We'll have to check and see if it works. When we make that assumption, if it's much, much smaller, we can ignore this S. And that will give me 2.1 times 10 to the minus 10 divided by 2.6 times 10 to the minus 3. I'm just dividing this over. is equal to S. And when we do that, we get an S value of 8.1 times 10 to the minus 8. Now, is that much smaller than 10 to the minus 3? Well, yes. It's, what, 100,000 times smaller than that value? So I feel really good about my assumption. So it checks out. Unit is molarity. Now, we said that it should decrease the solubility of the barium chromate. Let's go back and look at this number. Here is what it was, 1.5, 1.4 times 10 to the minus 5, and I'll put that capital M in there. That's the concentration that would dissolve in water. This is a much smaller number, so it did decrease the solubility, so it checks out. Now before I leave this problem, we're just going to do a little pretend over here in this corner, okay? Let's pretend for a moment that sodium chromate has the formula NaCrO42. It doesn't, all right? So this is just a pretend job. When it dissolves, you'd have one sodium and two chromates, okay? So if it was a concentration of 2.6 times 10 to the minus 3 of sodium chromate and this were its formula, then the chromate would be twice the 2.6, or the 5.2 times 10 to the minus 3. 
So when we started this problem, we would have a different number to plug in here. It's very important that you don't just blindly take this number of the common ion and plug it in here. You have to see what is its formula? How does it play out? In our example, it was that number, but if in pretend world the formula was this, then we would have to plug in 5.2 times 10 to the minus 3 right here to get the chromate. So be very careful to watch the formulas of your soluble salt to know what goes in the eye line for this problem. Okay, so just every once in a while that plays out.